The storage of optical quantum states is a key enabling technology for optical quantum computing and long-range quantum communications. The primary role of quantum memories is to control the timing of optical quantum states as they flow through quantum information systems. This operation is critical for scaling up the size of optical quantum computers, as well as increasing the distance over which quantum communication protocols can work. At CQCTT, we're developing a memory platform which will readily interface with optical communication channels. This memory will have the storage time, data storage capacity and fidelity to make it suitable for network applications. To achieve this, the centre is working on two complementary approaches, atomic gases and solid state. Atomic gas systems have been a proving ground for high performance quantum memories at CQC2T. It's a medium that allows for the rapid development and precise testing of quantum memory and related atom light protocols. This is because the properties of the atomic ensemble are determined by how we trap the gas, meaning the ensemble can be tuned and modified on demand. In 2011, our atomic quantum memory experiment set a benchmark of 87% storage efficiency, a record that stood for nearly 10 years. We also demonstrated that our memory protocol is free from any added noise, meaning that it is compatible with quantum networks. We're able to show storage that beat the no cloning limit for times that exceeded the best possible storage in a fiber loop. In 2017, we found a way to create a pulse of stationary light that was bright, but trapped inside the atomic cloud. These stationary states open up methods to enhance photon-to-photon -photon interactions for optical quantum gates. These gates would also require the storage of single photons which form qubits. Along the way to maximizing the number of atoms in our magneto-optical trap, we've developed a machine learning system that is capable of tuning the performance of a complex system in real time. By handing control of the laser and magnetic fields to a computer, we're able to catch and cool twice the number of atoms in half the time, compared with the best human effort. This machine learning system is highly versatile and is being deployed in experiments right across the center, including work by Professor Simmons and Dirac on the optimization of single and two qubit gates in silicon. The solid state platform being developed by the center is based on rare earth doped crystals. These crystals are uniquely suited to real world applications. They offer long memory storage times, a wavelength compatible with optical fiber and satellite communications, and high data storage capacity. In addition, they can be integrated into complex quantum optical circuits to build robust high performance quantum devices. We demonstrated the first high efficiency quantum memory. And we described a protocol for integrating this memory with a quantum light source. This protocol allows us to create time separated photon pairs with one of the photons stored in the memory until we need it. These entangled photon pairs then become a key resource for the optical communications. As we're now working towards long distance quantum communication, erbium is becoming a key element for us because it's the only element that interacts with light at the telecom wavelength. We establish the operating conditions required to make an erbium doped crystal suitable for a high performance quantum memory. Since then, we've been optimizing the storage time, bandwidth and efficiency of the memory. With these improvements, we're now set up to demonstrate initial quantum repeater operations. To push up the memory storage, we're developing cavity enhanced memories. These memories will provide the data storage capacity required for real world applications. We're exploring one of these applications, satellite based quantum networks with NASA. This project is supported by the SmartSat CRC. By adding a second crystal into the cavity, we can convert the memory into a linear optics quantum processor. By passing quantum information stored in the memory registers between the two crystals, we can perform the entanglement generation, linear optics operations, and readout, all required for the processor. This processor will form the core of our full quantum repeater demonstrations. Following that, the next step is to demonstrate a complete quantum network.